A polymer with a ZW of 200 was found to have a melt viscosity of 100 Pascal second. What is the viscosity of this polymer when ZW is 800? ZW, the number of atoms along the polymer chain's backbone, is related to viscosity as KL times ZW to the power 1.0, where eta is the viscosity and KL is a constant. This is for ZW values less than 600. For ZW values greater than 600, the relationship between viscosity and ZW is given by eta equals a constant KH times ZW to the power 3.4. If we plot a graph of log of viscosity versus log of ZW, we get a line, a straight line initially and then another straight line with a different slope where it breaks that is that corresponds to log zw value of about 2.8 which corresponds to a zw of 600 so we can say that eta at zw is equal to 600 is equal to KL times ZW to the power 1.0 which is equal to KH times ZW to the power 3.4 which is this point. Here the eta value is equal to KL times ZW to the power 1.0 which is equal to KH times ZW to the power 3.4. So we have a polymer with a ZW of 200 having a melt viscosity of 100 Pascal second. So eta at ZW of 200 is equal to KL times 200 to the power of 1.0 and this is 100 Pascals second. So KL is equal to 0 0.5. So at ZW is equal to 600, we can say that the viscosity is equal to KL which is 0 0.5 times 600 to the power 1.0. which will be 300. So eta at ZW is equal to 600 is 300 Pascal second, which will be equal to KH times ZW to the power 3.4. So that will be equal to KH times 600 to the power 3.4. One point one times ten to the negative seven for KH. Now knowing KH, we can find out the value of viscosity for ZW values greater than 600. So eta at ZW equals to 800 is going to be 1.1 times 10 to the negative 7 times 800 to the power 3.4. 816.4 Pascal second. So this is the value of viscosity when ZW is 800.